Hi, Stacy and I are here to talk about a few things that are coming up in October. We want to talk about Jeremiah's Inn and Chopped Worcester. If you're Ooh. a fan of the Food Network, uh, they're having a, a local version of Chopped with local chefs, and it promises to be a great event. It's Monday, October 7th from 6 to 9 at Moronis Park uh, in Shrewsbury. And it sounds like it's going to be a fantastic event and wow. uh, a lot of fun. So that's something to look forward to. Before we get to Halloween, and then you've got <laughs> something that's going on for Halloween through October. I just love Halloween, and I am so excited about a couple of the things we're going to be mentioning. This gentleman, Sean McNamara, started this small maze next to his house, and it was a haunted maze. And I remember calling about my son, because my son, as you know, has autism, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be too scary for him. And we had a really nice discussion, and now, three years later, it has grown exponentially. It's now... Um, uh, 120 feet by 80 feet so it's like the side of his house that he does it at um, he usually will do um, refreshments like they'll have apple cider and donuts things like that and what's really really cool about this I mean and I'll get into the maze in a little bit is that they have a jar out there for Shrewsbury Youth and Family Services which is absolutely phenomenal to be able to give back and um, it has a witch hut it has a skeleton graveyard a spider's lair, a pet cemetery, a scarecrow, jack-o'-lantern um, area, and a haunted graveyard. And it's cool. It's about maybe five to five, 15 minutes or so to get through the whole maze. And um, there are parts that aren't too scary. There are other parts, you know, depending on, you know, where you're at. They do ask, though, um, because all the decorations are, you know, pretty much um, appropriate for all ages, um, they will not tolerate blood, gore, weapons, or implied violence while people are going through it. So they really want to make sure that it stays family friend uh, friendly. Great. And it's at 48. Holando Drive, that's in Shrewsbury. So it's uh, just a few minutes from Dean Park off Walnut Street. And they're gonna be open on Friday and Saturday evening starting um, in October. That sounds great. And then for, for other Halloween aficionados, <laughs> Haunted Overload Whoa. in Lee, New Hampshire. Uh, spectacular scares await patrons every every October. Uh, it's all, all volunteers. They can uh, construct the sets, uh, gigantic monsters, costume characters, um, all sorts of creations. Spectacular sound and lighting. A twisted, terrifying, haunted trail through one of the spookiest patches of forest <laughs> New Hampshire has to offer. Creatures and monsters, which I this I like, are drawn from legends and myths rather than morbid horror movies. So the gore is de-emphasized uh, in favor of detailed costuming. So I think that's great. And again, that makes it m more appropriate for, for, for families, and families yeah. too. Mm -hmm. uh, it was created by Eric Lothar in his backyard, started out in his backyard, and it outgrew the space wow. uh, back in 2007. And the attraction of uh, Haunted Overload, again is what it's called, is now at Demerit Hill Farm in Lee, New Hampshire. So check it out and we'll be back. Hoping that we treat everybody today with respect, tolerance, and kindness. Thanks for joining us. Till next time.